The Diet Coke and Mentos experiment is a really simple experiment that produces impressive results. Place a few Mentos candies into a freshly opened bottle of your favorite carbonated beverage and a fantastic foamy fountain jets out. This impressive geyser results when the Mentos candies cause large amounts of dissolved carbon dioxide, or CO2, to be released from the soda as gas bubbles. It's really that simple. This process of CO2 escaping the soda as a gas can be represented with the equation you see here. The formula on the left of the arrow represents dissolved carbon dioxide, while the formula on the right represents carbon dioxide gas. Because no new chemical compounds are created during the process, we say the fountain is not caused by a chemical process, but rather by a physical one. However, it's interesting to note that this physical process of carbon dioxide escaping the soda drives a chemical process. That's right, the escape of carbon dioxide from water-based solutions causes the water to become less acidic through a chemical reaction. To see how this works, let's first consider what happens when CO2 dissolves in water. Some of the carbon dioxide that dissolves in water actually reacts with the water to form an acid called carbonic acid. This process can be represented by the chemical equation you see here. Let's test to see if carbon dioxide and water really do react to make an acid. To do so, I'll first take some of this water and add an acid base indicator to it. The indicator we're using is yellow at low pH values, blue at the neutral pH of 7, and green in between. Notice that the lower the pH value, the more acidic the substance. Let's add the indicator to some water and see what happens. Hey look, the water now has a greenish tinge. I guess that means this water has a pH of around 5. That's slightly acidic. You may have expected water to have a neutral pH, but carbon dioxide in the air dissolves into the water to cause it to become slightly acidic. Let's see what happens when we use this home carbonation system to pump carbon dioxide into the water. Wow, did you see that? The water turned yellow. That means it gets much more acidic when carbon dioxide is pumped into it. I guess carbon dioxide really does make water more acidic. I'm now going to see what color changes the indicator undergoes when I add Mentos candies to some club soda. I'll remove these labels so I can see inside the bottles a bit better. Now I'll add the indicator. It looks like the club soda has a pH of somewhere between 5 and 6. That's slightly acidic. Let me place this bottle in a container before I add the Mentos. The fountain might make a mess. Okay, in goes the Mentos. Hey, do you notice a slight shift to color in blue? This color change is consistent with an increase in pH. The club soda has become less acidic as carbon dioxide escapes the soda. That's really kind of neat. We were able to show that the release of carbon dioxide from soda, caused by the Mentos candies, resulted in the soda becoming less acidic. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the chemistry involved when Mentos candies are dropped into carbonated beverages. If you have any ideas for experiments that I should try with Coke and Mentos, please write them in the comments. I'm always wanting to learn more about this fascinating system. Thanks so much for watching.